Hey everyone, I wanted to update you on our profit target on Apple. Uh, we have reached and actually surprised profit target number one on a call that we made on July the 2nd. Let's talk about why and how we got here and uh, put some sense in it and take some profits. So um, what we did is on July 2nd, uh, we sent out a video uh, to, uh, to clients and also actually put this up for free on YouTube and on our website. Um, and you can see right here, uh, timestamp July 2nd, the video was titled, My Favorite Stock for the Next Few Months. And uh, the reasoning behind the call to, 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 to be long Apple from a you know, multi-month trading perspective uh, was really largely due to the fact that the broader market was choppy, asset allocations were a little bit slim, and really was based around interest rates that we thought uh, wouldn't spike higher uh, dramatically, but would kind of, you know, start to find, uh, uh, you know, find some sort of a, 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 a trading range. And that would be quite supportive for mega cap tech stocks like Apple, uh, even Google and Microsoft. So um, since then, we've seen uh, more or less the macro environment uh, play out as we thought it would. Things were choppy, interest rates uh, found that trading range. And um, uh, we have uh, now seen a real melt up. So I uh, want to give you just go straight into the chart of Apple, but I want to show you kind of some bigger picture things as well of why we think now is a good opportunity to start taking some profits on this trade, which is, I want to be clear, this does not mean that the stock can't go higher. And this is a trading call. It's not an investment call, right? If you're investing in Apple, you know, let it sit for the next five years. I have no problem with that. This is a trading call we made on July 2nd for the foreseeable couple of months or so. We're now, as I'm recording this here, rounding out the month of August, heading into September. And September does tend to be a bit of a funky month. It can be a good month. It can be a crappy month. It can be a choppy month it can be really one of anything and it's, it's just a tricky month. So we want to take some profit. So um, on July 2nd, when we made this video, uh, the, uh, uh, the sh shares of Apple were trading, uh, let me see, at the end of the day, uh, we're trading around uh, the high 130s. So we're now you know, up roughly about 10%. We just hit uh, the 153-ish mark the other day, a 10% move uh, in an environment where the S&P has, uh, has been trading higher, but the average stock has basically gone sideways, I think is a pretty good move uh, for us to take some profits. Technically, you could make the argument that this is just breaking out now. You could also make the argument that we've reached the upper end of what's been kind of an upward sloping range. Um, we think, given seasonality and, and really the basis for the trade, that we could start to see uh, you know, some, some, some resistance here in the upside. So... <clears throat> That's the trade here to take some chips off the table. But I want to give you another layer of, of analysis here. And um, we can start very simply with just the S&P 500. And if you look at the S&P 500, you can see where we've, where we've arrived at on that chart. Again, does not mean it can't go higher. Uh, from an investment perspective, certainly, it does not mean it can't go higher in medium term either. But it is interesting to note where it's reached. And that's kind of, uh, that's kind of relevant as far as we're concerned for this analysis. But even more relevant, of course, would be something where that Apple is an even larger part of, and that's the NASDAQ 100. And if you look at the NASDAQ 100, you can see uh, where that's reached basically from the uptrend line since uh, 2018. Uh, we've now reached the upper trend of that, again, uh, you know, to, to very to a very precise point. And, um, you know, if we take all of that together, we think this is a, a good a place as any with Apple for if you took that trade that I just mentioned uh, that on that we posted on July 2nd for that per, for that particular trade to start taking some profits been about again a 10% move in Apple on the stock if if one did options of course it would have been much much more um, again uh, want to take some chips off the table on this trade it's been a good trade heading into the month of September I hope this helps and we'll see you again soon in the next video